Yeah, so um, this is the bookshelf quilt, and as you can see, there's um, some blocks which contain just books, and some um, blocks that contain books and little, little objects. Um, with this one, um, I thought I'd have some fun with the mylar, but it's optional if you don't want to use it, you can just skip the steps. But here, you, I've included quite a few steps where you can add mylar if you wish for the jars. So um, mylar is a, it is a um, an embroidery sheet. Yes, yeah, so this is our mylar here. Sort of paper. So as you can see, it's like a shiny, plasticky sheet of um, paper, I guess, like thin plastic, and it's very shiny. Um, it looks different um, depending on what you put underneath. You can use it um, on top of fabrics like we have on these two. So as you can see, it's the same piece of mylar but on different coloured fabrics and you can see they look very different. And you've just digitised a special sort of a stippling stitch on that too. Yeah, so if you don't them. want to um, do the mylar, you can just skip it. And you can just use the mylar just on its own. So I think we've got one here. So um, you don't have to use fabric behind it. So I've used it for the jars of the um, vases because I thought it'd be pretty cool to be able to see through the jars and the terranium just down oh, here. They're so good to And also there's a block here which is can be a mirror or a photo so you can use the mylar to have like a mirror effect or you can use the same block and fussy cut a picture in like um, Cassie fussy cut some owls in this one. That's cute. Yeah. So talking about the one down the bottom with the, the mylar around if that was to be a picture frame people could print off you can print photos onto um, fabric, can't you? So yeah. you could put that behind yeah, that, you put your cover it with your there. mylar and then it would look like glass in a picture frame. Yeah, it would. It would look really cool. So the, how many blocks are there again, Sorry. So there's eight blocks. Eight a couple ones. of them are flip, have, have flipped versions. So um, the vase block, so this one comes flipped so you can... Um, I'll have it on the left hand side or yeah, the right hand, the right -hand side. side. And then the photo mirror one is also flipped so you can change the um, direction of it so you can have one as a photo and one as a mirror if you like. That's really clever. So you can make this as small or large as you like really because we've just repeated quite a few blocks on here like the books we've repeated with text and without text because it looks just nice with just florally it does, yes. fabrics. And we've used a lot of textures as well so we've used our um, Sweet Pea, PU and Cork as well as fabrics it makes it look really So nice I can see I'm just trying to pick some of them out. So this is our Glitter Nude PU faux leather. This is our rose gold faux leather. It's beautiful. I've actually got a piece I'll just show you. I went into the sewing room just before to show people how thin it is. So this is the same PU faux leather we use there. It's very, very thin, very pliable and very easy to stitch. So it's great. So for something where you want a bit of texture and you, you've got the tiniest little bit there and it gives a great effect. I think that's the only part you've got that in this in this this quilt, but that's our rose gold PU, and then this is the floral doodle, which we have here. So this is a cork fabric. Once again, it's very, very thin. It's It's been harvested from sustainable um, cork forests, um, and then it's backed with like a suede fabric. It's got our logo on the back, but that's a combination of rose gold, sort of embossed, raised dots, and the beautiful flowers. So we've got that in a, a book. You don't need to use the cork fabric or the PU, you can just use all fabrics if you like. But I just think using the different textures just makes the bookshelf look really yeah, comes to light. Like a it? real leather leather book it does. And like, yeah, this one I designed with it so you can have a bit of fun. And mm. um, with this one with the mylar, different textures, and with the wording, so you can um, use the wording I've supplied in the files, or you could um, use your own Text. your favourite books. Yeah. Um, we've got a video link in the instructions of how to add text with your embroidery machine. So you can have a look at that one. People are going to have so much fun with this design. I can see that now. Yeah, it's you, just you gorgeous. You cut some pictures in here. Yeah. So it's going to be very fun. The terrarium is just beautiful. So there's no applique under that, is there? Or is, is that no, the cactus embroidery? Applique? That's embroidery. Yeah. And then the mylar on, just the mylar on top. So if you didn't want to use mylar, you could just have a cactus, I guess. Yeah, and um, Cassie's done it in white, so you can't really see it but the outline of the vases and the terranium is a different step so you okay. could if you don't want to use the mylar you can use a darker color and you'll be able to see the outline it was still yeah. pretty cool looks really good so you can even go to having fun with just the different colors of the satin stitch around the books as well mm. i like the little it's just something you keep seeing different things in it yeah like the world globe 
and then you've got the beautiful pot plant. So that's used, we've used some of our um, bow leather there too. Uh, no, that's our cork fabric. That's yeah. called Picnic Basket, I think. Yeah, and it that's works really one. well. As, it actually looks like a little basket. It does, doesn't it? Like a woven, <laughs> woven one. So you'll have so much fun with this design. So once again, this is called our bookshelf quilt. Comes in four sizes, four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven by seven. So is there anything else we need to talk about, Silvana, with that? I don't think so. Just have fun with it. <laughs> yeah, and can't wait to see what everyone does with it.